math on mortgage interest rates is like deciding what to do on fourth and one when the game isn't on the line. If the goal is to win the game, is the best decision to go for it or is it better just a punt? Mortgage interest rates change with economic news, but have been at historical lows. So should you go for it or punt on it for now? Depending on the size, rate, and term of an existing mortgage, refinancing into a lower rate or different term or both could create thousands of dollars of savings over the life of the loan. The key is that refinancing has to make sense. Overall savings must factor in all of the costs associated with the new loan. Each lender is different, but these can include fees from the bank, appraisal, title, and attorneys. And there can be tax implications too. Figuring out when you break even and start saving helps determine if it's worth it based on your life circumstances. In addition to interest rates, your own circumstances, like how long you plan to own the home, other debts, and your credit score, will determine if and by how much you may save by refinancing. Just like coaches must consider all of the circumstances, like the score, time remaining, location on the field, and matchup, in order to assess if it's more valuable to attempt to get the fresh set of downs or punt on the drive, the decision to refinance at any time or not depends on multiple factors. And doing the math for your specific situation is the only way to see if the gains outweigh the costs.